The sun, a pleasant, beautiful, and likable star. But there's something in this star that's not pleasant, not beautiful, and unlikable. This star gets very dangerous when it sends plasma our way. We all know that the sun is an ocean of fire. The heat in the star doesn't allow the atoms, like everywhere else, including Earth, to be in one piece, and the core and electron are not together. This ocean of fire is filled with plasma, and the plasma is coordinated with the sun's gravity, and this creates a magnetic field. Magnetic fields anywhere can create electricity. And with electricity, you can make magnetic field. So the plasma in the sun has electricity. And when it moves, it creates a magnetic field. This procedure that we just explained, it's always happening on the sun. And this creates a lot of energy in the sun. And the same energy gets spread around in the solar system. And a little bit of that gets to us on planet Earth. And as you know, if it was not there, we wouldn't be alive. But the sun isn't always given energy like this. Sometimes it gets a little intense. And the magnetic field we were talking about gets stuck somewhere. And there's a traffic of energy. It's kind of like the faults on planet Earth. When two faults get stuck to each other and push on each other year after year, if they all of a sudden release, they create an earthquake. The longer and more energy, the bigger the earthquake. In the sun, the same thing is happening, but it's a traffic of plasma. The plasma can't pass by. It gets stuck somewhere. When it gets stuck, the plasma that's stuck in one place, all of a sudden, explodes and gets launched. And whichever the direction it is, it goes that way. They call this the solar flares. That happens on the sun all the time, big and small. These come towards Earth all the time, but the Earth's magnetic field launches them to the poles, so they don't hit. You've probably seen the northern lights. This is because of the solar flares hitting our atmosphere. There was no problems until now, but sometimes there's a chance of a super solar flare. Scientists say every 100 years, two super solar flares happen and they don't know which direction it could come from. But let's say one of these super solar flares comes towards Earth. What will happen? Billions of tons of plasma gets launched towards Earth. The thing that gets launched towards Earth is called a geomagnetic storm. If this storm came around 150 years ago, nothing would happen to us, and they wouldn't even find out. Because a storm like this doesn't affect any living thing like humans and plants. But today's world, compared to back then, is very vulnerable. Anything on the planet that has wires in it or metal is in complete danger. Right now, there's wires ran across the globe everywhere, meaning there's millions of kilometers of wires everywhere, and it takes electricity all throughout the globe. And on the other side of these wires, there's a lot of transformers that take this 
high electricity and makes it usable for cities. This storm hates these transformers. It makes them explode. In the year 1989, a light geomagnetic storm happened and it hit Quebec. The transformers in that area all catch on fire. But the one that hit Quebec was very small. The biggest geomagnetic storm that hit the earth and that was actually recorded happened in 1859. As you know, the northern lights are only seen on the poles. And we said it, it's because of the solar flares that hit the poles. But in the year 1859, the northern light could be seen from Mexico. Look how far down it had traveled. The northern lights literally came very close to the equator. It was at night and people from Mexico said the green lights lit up the sky like it was the morning. But back in the day, there was no wires across the country. There was no transformers either. And obviously, there was no electronics like we have today. Because there was literally no electricity back then. But there was something back then, and that's the telegraph. And because of this storm, most of the telegraph machines get destroyed. But let's pass. Our whole life and world depends on electronics like this. If there's no internet for one day, everything shuts down. Astronomers say in the year 2013, one of these storms was about to hit the Earth. But thankfully, it barely missed the Earth. They say if that storm hit Earth, there will be trillions of dollars in damages all across the globe. It would disconnect all of the Earth's electricity. They predict that it would take 4 to 10 years for us to rebuild everything that was damaged and make usable electricity everywhere. But some experts don't believe that. They say we could be notified before it and we could shut off the power all across the globe. In that case, nothing really could get damaged. But scientists say the damages that would cause would have a lack of electricity throughout the globe for 10 years. But scientists say we actually don't know what will happen. And until it happens, we don't know what is going to happen. They predict that there's a 12% chance that a geomagnetic storm will happen in the next 10 years. And they say in the next 50 years, there is a 50% chance that it will happen. This storm will first damage the satellite, then all the digital connection will be shut off. All the electricity would be offline and everything will stop working. Hospitals, airport, stores, gas station, the faucet would stop working. Wastewater plants would stop working. All of them would stop working. Some people believe something like this could make us go extinct. Do you know what's dangerous about all this? Is that us humans can't actually predict when something like this could happen. Because scientists believe that if we could find out before it happened, we could shut off the power in the entire world and there would be minimal damage to everything on Earth. But unfortunately, we can't predict or see when it's gonna happen. The sun rises every morning and gives us happiness. But the same sun could destroy this planet.